Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Happy Mental Health Monday. I'm actually filming this Monday morning, super early. Four of my kids are asleep. Molly's just watching a cartoon right here, but I got up early and I worked out, but I'm going to the pool today, so my hair is just in a bun, but I actually put on makeup for you guys, so I would be okay to watch. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I was thinking all about what I wanted to talk about today, and I wanted to just be real and honest and just share with you my frustrations right now with social media. And I was inspired by my friend, Jamie Kite. If you guys don't follow her, you guys totally need to. She's been one of my really good friends for the last few years. We did Millennial Moms together a couple years ago and she is just such a great person and such a good soul. And she did a video called It's All Fake or something about being fake. Yeah, anyway, that kind of inspired my video today. So I will link her video down below. Uh, and go say hi to her and follow her and show her some love because she deserves every every little ounce of it. Uh, but it inspired my video today and it's something that I'm like really frustrated with right now and really passionate. So let's get started. So one of the number one things that we know makes our generation, especially mothers and teenagers and everything unhappy is social media. And I've talked about this so many times on my channel. It's like, it's getting extremely annoying to me at this moment in time. Uh, for a lot of different reasons, but the biggest being that nothing you see is real on social media, nothing. And everything is a curated version of what people wanna show you. Even what I show you, I try to keep it as real as possible, but can I possibly show everything? No, I can't. I don't wanna show my kids running around naked. I don't wanna show myself without a bra on. You know what I mean? Like, I can't really literally show you everything. So most of it is just curated and a lot of it is fake and it's just not real life. And that's why we get so upset when we compare our lives to those people because we think, oh, that's what life should be like. But even those people who are doing that, bloggers, Instagrammers, YouTubers, it's hard for them to keep up that lifestyle. I was recently talking with some friends and there was a really, really big influencer girl who was not very nice <laughs> to some people um, that she'd worked with and she was just saying like how hard it is because she has to keep up her appearance, she has to be perfect all the time, has to have makeup on all the time, her hair has to be perfect all the time. And that really like frustrated me because it's like, no, you've set that precedence. Like you post perfection, so people are going to expect perfection. And you guys know I don't post perfection. I try not to. Uh, and it's hard because I feel like my channel stuff doesn't grow because of that, but I just have to stay true to myself and I want people to feel better about themselves when they see my posts. I don't want them to feel worse about themselves. And of course there is room out there for beautiful pictures. And if you work hard on your body, show it if you want to, but to, I don't know, portray life as perfection as always, that's not, that's not real, you guys. It really is all fake, like my friend Jamie says. Another thing that I wanted to touch base upon, this is something that's really frustrating me lately, and I know a lot of other influencers have been talking about this. Um, just people don't believe everything you see as far as numbers are concerned. There are so many, it drives me nuts. I wish Instagram would just do a huge clear out of everyone who has purchased likes, purchased followers, because it's all fake and there are lots of different ways on how you can tell if somebody buys followers or buys likes and I could go into that but I'm not going to but just google it if you want to but that bothers me because I feel like that's dishonest to brands because brands think that these influencers have a certain amount of followers or likes and so they're giving free product uh, they think this person is influential when in all reality it's all bots and it's all fake and I'm just that has been one of my biggest things my whole life is just honesty. I can't be around people that are dishonest. I can't feel good about myself if I'm dishonest and sometimes that's hard, it ruins relationships, but I just, I have to be honest. So I have to be honest with you guys and by being honest with that, I just wanna say I'm struggling right now on social media. I don't know where I fit in because I don't post perfection and that doesn't get me all the followers or all the likes which doesn't matter, but at the same time, I just get lost in the crowd because I don't post that. I don't know, and I have to stay true to myself, you know what I mean? But it's frustrating when you want your channel to grow and you want to be able to reach more people, but you can't, and I'm just being completely honest with you guys. It's frustrating, I've talked about this multiple times on my channel, so I go back and forth all the time. I'm like, should I just stop? Like, is it even worth it anymore to get my voice out there because it, 
I'm just competing with people who are cheating or faking or and I can't I can't do that I can't keep it up so my mental health Monday video has kind of I don't even know what the topic really is but just don't believe everything that you see and let alone compare yourself to what you see because people are not posting their real lives. There's a lot of huge influencers here in Utah, as you guys know, tons of bloggers and YouTubers. And the one thing I can say about YouTubers is I feel like out of all of the industries, they're the most down to earth and the most real. That's a blanket statement, I shouldn't say that, but they really are. I, I feel like, cause you can see their personalities through video, so it's kind of nice. But uh, I went on a date with Brad and I saw this really, really big blogger Instagrammer girl and she had no makeup on her kids hair was crazy and everything and they were really cute as a family and my husband Brad like didn't believe that it was a famous blogger girl and I was like let me show you her account so I showed him her account and he was like that's not the same person she doesn't look the same um and that's the thing is like I feel like people would be so much happier if they saw the real her as opposed to the one that she posts online and obviously people have businesses as their account. So that's a whole different story. When you have products to sell and businesses and you're getting paid by sponsored video, I get that. But I feel like it's the content that we post as far as the words that we post and the way that we portray our lives and all of that. So I'm sitting here in my dining room on the floor just because I can. <laughs> I was like, where can I sit today that has lighting? Anyway, so first of all, unfollow the people. Oh, better thing, Instagram has a new feature now where you can mute people. So you can mute them on your feed, you can mute them in your Insta stories. So if you don't wanna offend someone and unfollow them, you can mute them just like you can on Facebook. So I feel like that is such a great way to control who you see. But also just go through and unfollow companies or products or girls that just make you feel not good about yourselves. Like seriously, unfollow them. You'll feel so much better about life or take a social media break. I know uh, the prophet in our church, the president of our church, he encouraged all of us to take one week social media break. And I will be doing that soon. Um, but because of sponsor stuff, I haven't been able to. But every time I take a break, I feel so much better. It's like ignorance is bliss in a lot of ways. When you don't see everything to compare yourself to, you're gonna feel so much better. But I just had to get that out here, you guys, that what you see is not real. There is so much fakeness. <laughs> and insecurity on social media because people want to portray perfection, but perfection does not exist. Nobody is perfect, nobody has a perfect life, nobody has a perfect marriage, nobody's kids are perfect. And you know, when I take pictures of my kids, I take 25 pictures and I post one picture. And I know a lot of Instagrammers take hundreds of pictures and they post one picture and then they crop it and then they filter it. You know what I mean? There's so many different things that you do to make it look good to fit your feed. Anyway, don't believe everything that you see. Uh, and don't be discouraged by everything you see because it's just, it's not real, you know? I mean, they are real people, but a lot of times, I mean, you see these like Instagrammer accounts. There's this girl, I can't remember what her name was, where she was trying to live this like luxurious life and like went into debt like $100,000 because she was trying to travel just to build her Instagram account. I, there's a news article about it. I can't remember what her name was, but I mean, that's what people go through these days and it's only worse because our kids are going to see it as they grow up. And so you have to prepare your kids and prepare yourselves ahead of time and just step back and be like, this isn't real. This is not real. So just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to hurry up and edit this video right now and then upload it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great Monday and it's 4th of July on Wednesday. So I'm so excited about that, but we will see you guys in my next video. Bye.